Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to extend the file system partition on a Ubuntu server. So before we start with the expansion, I just want to show you a real life scenario that can happen to you if you are using uh, Zabbix for example, monitoring system. And uh, this is, uh, of course, there are prerequisites when you install the Zabbix server. It depends on how many clients you have. Um, they recommend using a specific amount of memory, of RAM, a specific amount of hard disk space for the uh, MySQL database. But, of course, um, you cannot be 100% uh, sure that there will be no changes in the future. And uh, from time to time, you have to be reactive. Uh, so, uh, the thing that happened to me is... Um, I received a Zabbix alert that the free disk space on my root partition or the file system partition is below that 20 uh, of 20 percent and uh, what I had to do there is I had to extend the uh, file system the root partition and that fixed my problem but uh, there are several methods where when and how you can extend the space of course, you can extend the space uh, using the offline method that I'm going to show you. And if you haven't configured the uh, logic volume, um, which means that you cannot uh, extend the partitions using logical volumes, uh, you have to do it manually with uh, other software like Gparted, for example, the one that I'm going to use today. Uh, the other method that you can use without the logical volumes is uh, to perform an online extension of the partition and that is by deleting the whole partition and recreating it from, uh, from scratch with the extended partition space. Of course, um, there are um, risks in both methods. So the best way to proceed is before you do any reconfiguration on your virtual machine, always perform a backup, uh, perform a clone of that virtual machine or a complete backup if you, are, if you have a physical uh, monitoring server. So this is the best way for you to uh, be prepared if something happens. Now that my, I am on my um, Ubuntu server, I'm going to log in to it so I can show you what uh, exactly is the percentage of the use space and how you can check uh, how um, you can see how how much of space of free space you have on your uh, file system on your root partition and uh, how you need to proceed in order for you to extend that so the command that I'm going to use uh, to see the uh, free space that is available for me on my uh, root partition is uh, df-h so uh, you can see right on the top there is a def mount point with sda1 which is my single hard disk that i have and the the total size of the hard disk is 5.8 gigs and uh, you can see that i have the used available space and the um, usage per usage percentage so uh, as you can see now, I only have 200 megabytes, 250 megabytes free space. So, in order for me to extend this partition, the first step that I need to take is back up your server. <laughs> of course, uh, <coughs> you can see me and you can hear me a lot of times talking about backup, but this is really important, guys. You need to know that uh, if you are working in production environment with this, you need to be prepared. So the first step is backup your server depending on your backup solution uh, and depending if it's a virtual machine or a physical machine you can you have a lot of solutions to do it and uh, the best way to do the, the fastest way to do in in uh, a virtual environment is just to clone that machine and just leave the clone there until the process is done and uh, leave it for a couple of days it won't hurt if you have enough storage um, just in case that to see and test and see that you're and confirm that your server is up and running normally. The next step that you need to do is you need to shut down this machine, shut down the Ubuntu server and uh, using your virtualization software uh, you need to uh, extend the um, hard disk space depending on what you want. In this case I have a 10 gigabyte disk that I'm going to extend with another 10 gigs and from there I'm going to mount a CD. There are two options for you. 
first is to mount uh, Gparted live CD, which is you can you can download from uh, the Gparted um, website. I'm going to show that later. And uh, the other option that I'm going to use is really a handy one. I'm going to use a Ubuntu Desktop Edition CD, and I'm going to um, start the Ubuntu Desktop live without installing the Ubuntu. And within Ubuntu, I have the option to use Gparted. So let me uh, shut down the machine, extend the volume with 10 gigabytes, and I'm going to resume the video when I power on the machine so we can uh, you can see what's the process after that. So let's shut down the machine. H now. Let me specify the password for my account and the system is going to shut down now. So let me shut down, extend the volume and we continue after that. So before I start the machine I just want to show you the software uh, called Gparted uh, where you can, uh, this is the first link right there, where you can download the Gparted uh, software and uh, you can use it as a live CD um, it's a live image <coughs> that you can download uh, it's an ISO image and you can use that image to boot from it and just extend the partition from there but in my case for some reason the drivers for my mouse are not working correctly so I'm going to use uh, the uh, Ubuntu desktop edition instead because it's really easy for me to to use it so um, the Ubuntu desktop of course you can download from uh, the Ubuntu site okay it's Ubuntu and from here you can uh, of course download the Ubuntu image the Ubuntu desktop image and uh, I'm going to show you the only thing you need to do is uh, just mount the image to the virtual machine restart it and boot from the image without installing the operating system only with uh, live uh, use. The other thing that you need to bear in mind is that uh, before you extend the uh, this space on the server there shouldn't be any snapshots available depending on the software that you use um, it's not going to allow you to um, to extend the partition so from here you can see you can download the Ubuntu um, for example the 14.04 version so uh, let me switch back to my um, Zabbix server and I'm going to boot from the Ubuntu desktop live CD. Okay, now that uh, the live CD um, or my virtual machine is booting from the live CD, I'm going to specify the option to boot without installing. I just want to uh, use the, the software that is included into the live CD I'm going to try Ubuntu. And now I have the full functionality of the Ubuntu desktop without me uh, installing the uh, the operating system at all. So I'm going to first what I'm going to do is um, uh, change the resolution so you can see better. So I'm going to specify a different resolution and apply that. Okay and I'm going to close that. So the next step that I'm going to perform is uh, open the uh, Gparted uh, software that is included. You can see it right here and when I open that software I will see that um, it's currently showing my disk that I have. I can see that I have uh, the 
um, Zabbix root partition right here alongside with my um, Linux swap space, the ex extended partition which is containing the swap space within it, within that and I have a 10 gigabytes of unallocated space. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the procedure of expanding the disk space on my root partition. The first thing that I need to do here is I need to um, unlock and turn off the swap partition. That is needed because currently the extended partition containing the swap, the Linux swap partition is locked and I cannot modify it. Um, by swapping off that partition, it's going to be still there, it's going to be available, but I can modify it. And the next thing that I need to do is I need to highlight the extended partition and click on resize move. And in here, Using the, the mouse, I can extend the space on that uh, extended partition and I need to extend it with uh, the unallocated 10 gigabytes. So I'm going to click Resize Move and now I can see that the extended partition uh, grew up to contain the uh, full um, 10 gigs that I want uh, to be added, but they are not added to my file system at the moment. The next thing that I need to do is I need to highlight the Linux swap and resize and move it. So I'm going to grab that and drag it to the end of the partition. In that moment the uh, swap space will be reallocated from the beginning of the partition to the end of the partition. I will click resize and move and it will say, uh, it will warn me that moving uh, or uh, removing the swap partition can um, damage my system, but I will click OK to that message. And I can see that uh, the unlocated space of 10 gigabytes moved from the end of the partition, from the end of the disk to the middle of it, but it's still a part of the extended uh, partition. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on highlight extended once again and resize move it. And I'm going to, um, with the mouse again, take the, um, the beginning of that partition and lower the space just to contain the Linux swap space and click resize move once again. So now I can see that uh, currently the unallocated space is available for me to add to my root partition and at the same time I have my um, Linux swap space um, at the end of the disk, which is the way I want it. So I'm going to click on my, you can highlight it from here or click from here and click resize move. And from here I'll be able to extend the disk space on my root partition with the 10 gigabytes that I have available. So I'm going to resize. And now you can see that um, I've managed to expand that disk from 6 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. And uh, there are, uh, you will notice that there are some unallocated megabytes in space. I tried to add them, but it's not available from here at least. Uh, maybe the Gparted Live CD will be able to um, relocate all the space, but after all, this is around 5 megabytes, 4 megabytes, so it's not going to hurt you that much. So the next thing and the last thing that I need to do is I need to click on the apply all operations. Are you sure you want to apply the pending operations? And it's saying that the partition has a potential cause, cause loss of data. Let's hope that that won't happen here. So you are advised to backup your data before proceeding. As you remember, I always advise you to backup the server. So I'll click apply and the operation will start reconfiguring the partitions. So I have um, four warnings, and um, but it's saying that the all operations completed successfully, and I don't see any warnings right here. So it's really strange for me. This is, I've made this few times, and it's always saying that there are warnings, but I didn't see any warnings when I configured this. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm just going to click on swap on once again and it's going to lock the uh, Linux swap partition and the extended uh, partition as well 
and the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to um, restart the system without booting from the live CD and let's see what happened on my Ubuntu server. So I'm going to click on shutdown and it's going to ask you what options do you want to use. I'm going to click restart. Okay, I've restarted the system and uh, now my server is up and running once again. And I'm going to log into it to see what is the situation with my hard disk space. I'm going to use the df-h command once again. And here you can see that now, instead of having only 6 gigabytes of space, I have 16 gigabytes with uh, 9.6 gigabytes available, which uh, is the thing that we did we want to see. So uh, I'm going to um, open my Zabbix server to see if if it's fully functional and working once again. So if I refresh the settings on my Zabbix server, I can see that it's currently up and running once again, and it's fully working. And I can see that uh, the disk space usage on my um, server, uh, it's looking pretty much good. And uh, it didn't refresh, it needs more time to refresh the value because the value, it's, it's not 6 gigabytes anymore, it's 16 gigabytes. But it should pick up that uh, really uh, shortly. And uh, there you go, it's uh, saying now that my Zabbix server has just been restarted and uh, the, the alarm appeared 15 seconds ago, so it just needs more time to figure out and to risk on my partition and confirm that uh, everything is okay. So um, this is uh, pretty much the, um, the overview of how you can resize the partition of, on your uh, Ubuntu server root system. And uh, as you all know, uh, you need to be careful with this. Uh, this is a um, um, really dangerous thing to do because it can um, corrupt your server and you can lose data that's why you need to uh, be prepared for that with uh, backups and other solutions to help you with that so uh, thank you very much for watching my video if you like the video or if you like the channel please subscribe so you can see when I uh, you, and you know when I release new videos and uh, if you have any questions or any any troubles at all you can always uh, uh, add your questions into the comment section below and I will try to respond as soon as possible. So once again, thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.